The gynecologist, by definition, women's doctor. Either you love him or hate him. There is no middle ground. I don't know what your thoughts are at the moment, but even if now you hated dinos, I hope in time to make you change your mind. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and to my very first online video. I'm Dr. Rebecca Angelica Mishosha. On Instagram and TikTok you can find me as The Gentle Lady. I'm a medical doctor and surgeon specialized in gynecology and obstetrics and this makes me a gynecologist. If you're interested in female well-being and want to inform yourself while having fun, you're in the right place. Here I will chat with you about many topics regarding gynecology, fertility, pregnancy and healthy life habits. But now let's go back to gynecology and try to understand a little more who is the doctor that so many men say they'd love to be. A gynecologist is a specialist doctor. In Italy, where I come from, after graduating in medicine and surgery, which is a university course that lasts six years, the doctor who wants to become a gynecologist must pass a national exam in order to access the residency program in gynecology and obstetrics. Once entered, he or she must work and study for a further five years before becoming able to become a specialist. We take care of women's health at all stages of her life from childhood to old age. Unlike other specialists like cardiologists or neurosurgeons where you make an appointment only if you have to and in any case unwillingly, you should go see your gynecologist regularly. I'm sure you're now wondering how often should I go? I personally recommend a yearly appointment even in the absence of problems. This timing is not just my personal opinion, but it's the recommendation given by the most important gynecological societies in the world. This is so because the gynecologist does not only deal with diseases and disorders related to female intimate health, fertility and pregnancy, but should also provide you with all the information necessary to maintain your well-being down there, help you plan a pregnancy or help you avoid one by guiding you in the choice of the contraceptive method that is the most suitable for your body and your needs. Listen to you and help you in case of any difficulties or pain with sexual intercourse and much much more. It is up to us gynecologists to check that in every phase of your life everything in your private business department goes as it should, from vaginal discharge to the menstrual cycle. In addition, it is our job to monitor your and your baby's well-being during pregnancy. Attention! Gynecology is the branch of medicine that deals with the physiology or correct functioning and with the pathologies of the female genital system, while obstetrics is the branch of medical science that deals with the assistance to women during pregnancy, childbirth and the period following a baby's delivery. I want to emphasize again that it is very important to have regular gynecological check even in the absence of any disorder or in the absence of discomfort because some gynecological diseases can remain silent and not be noticed for a long time. Since we're able to help you in the prevention of many diseases from sexually transmitted infections to cancer and we can offer you some screening tests capable of identifying pathologies at an early stage, ensuring that they don't get worse, it would be a shame not to get checked. Now let's see, who should be examined? The gynecologist must take care of any person with female reproductive organs, regardless of the gender with which the person identifies itself and regardless of the person's sexual orientation. It is important that anyone with a uterus or ovaries or even just a neovagina undergoes regular gynecological checks just as much as cis women. If you don't know what being a cisgender woman means, I will explain it to you right away. The term Cisgender refers to any person who recognizes him or herself in the sex given at birth. Cis women are therefore people born with female reproductive organs, thus declared female at birth, who identify themselves as belonging to the female sex, therefore female gender identity. I, for example, am a cis woman but also trans men, especially if they have not undergone a gender reassignment surgery procedure and trans women who have undergone a vaginoplasty should go see the gynecologist. No true professional will ever judge you for your gender identity or your sexual orientation and a real professional should also never judge you on other aspects of your life, such as the number of sexual partners you have had or the infectious diseases you may have been infected with. So this said, if you have ever suffered from any discrimination, I personally apologize on behalf of the whole medical category. 
and advise you to search for a more professional doctor to take care of you. So, when should you anticipate the annual checkup? I have explained to you in general the work of a specialist in gynecology and obstetrics, but let's see on what occasions and for which problems you should get examined anticipating the annual checkup I recommended before. It is important for you to go to the gynecologist when you have problems during development in childhood and adolescence. In case of infections, vulvar such as herpes or vaginal or even urinary as cystitis. In case of any irritation or inflammation of the genital area. In case of menstrual disorders such as pain, heavy periods, longer short cycles. If you have severe or prolonged pain in the lower abdomen. If you're looking for a birth control solution. If you have problems with acne and hirsutism, which means having a lot, a lot of hair, that could be due to a hormonal imbalance. In case of sexual disorders, both physical and emotional discomfort. From the moment you discover that you're pregnant and up to birth. In case you needed postpartum care. In case of reproductive problems when you're trying to conceive. And that is called infertility. But above all, whenever you feel the need. How to choose the right gynecologist for you. Unfortunately, there is no golden rule for choosing the right doctor of any specialty. What I can do is tell you what are the criteria that I evaluate when I have to choose a colleague from whom to get examined. 1. Medical certifications. Where has the professional graduated, in which university and with which grade? And also, where did he specialize and with which grade? 2. Medical experience. Is the professional I have chosen an expert in my problem? Gynecology is a huge specialty. And although all gynecologists should be able to do checkups and other procedures, not all are experts in different super specialized areas. For example, there are gynecologists who are experts in oncology, which means cancer pathologies. Others instead are experts in prenatal diagnosis. I, for example, am a fertility expert and I help couples or singles realize their desires to become parents when they cannot have children naturally. Therefore, for each specific problem of super specialized competence, it is always better to rely on an expert in that area. 3. Communication skills. Does the doctor I have chosen listen to my needs without making me feel judged? And is he or she able to explain things to me in a way that is understandable to me? At the end of the day, the choice of the gynecologist is a super personal one. In fact, the gynecologist is a doctor and in general the stranger with whom more than anyone we get naked. Not only literally by having to take off our panties for the examination, but also on a psychological level. Because with him or her, you will have to talk about your intimate sphere and be seen and examined in areas that in our society are still very high on emotional load and are always embedded in an aura of taboo. The biggest question of all, gynecologist who's a woman or gynecologist who's a man, who's best? Believe me, it really doesn't matter. There is no sex that is better than the other. Although, if I have to think about it, I have become a gynecologist because I think women are great in general. So choose the professional who makes you feel most at ease and with whom you can feel you can establish a relationship of total trust. So who is the best gynecologist in the world? The name of the professional will be different for each and every one of us, but it will always be the one that makes you feel safe and comfortable while guiding you in maintaining your intimate and sexual well-being. Soon, I will give you a recap of all the key points of this chat between friends. But if you feel that this video has been useful to you in some way, and I really do wish so with all my heart, remember to subscribe to the channel and to activate the notifications. Because in the next videos, I will get into more depth and detail and will give you all the information to take care of yourself at the best. And now, key points. The doctor who is specialized in gynecology and obstetrics is the reference figure for all the following things. Assessing the health of your reproductive system, reassuring yourself about your concerns and answer your questions about your female organs and your sexuality, diagnose and treat alterations, disorders and pathologies of the female genital system, learn about sexual health and help you choose the method of contraception that best suits your individual characteristics help you prepare to become pregnant and help you get pregnant in case of infertility. Keep yourself checked and healthy during any pregnancy. Help you feel good during and after menopause. Finally, remember to always talk to your gynecologist during your appointments for the annual visit and take them as an opportunity to ask questions, even the most embarrassing ones. Never forget that we are your allies in your 
reproductive health.